in this video, I'm going to create my second pipeline, but this time around, uh, instead of a Java application, we are going to build a Node.js and React application using NPM. Now, don't worry if you don't know about Node.js, go back and refer uh, to the documentation. We are just going to use few NPM commands to build a simple application uh, with Node.js and React, right? So, but it's very important that uh, if you have not seen my previous videos on Gen Jenkins, then please go ahead and do that because you need to run the Jenkins instance on a on a Docker container instead of your local instance. That's because uh, in this pipeline, we are going to create a second container, which is a, a Node.js container, and it's going to act as a node for our Jenkins instance, right? So our pipeline is going to run on that node container. But if you run it on a local instance, uh, it's not going to work. So please uh, refer to that video uh, where you can install Jenkins on, on a Docker container and complete that setup before you continue with this video. So let's go ahead. I'm going to start uh, creating a new pipeline job. So create, click new item and here click pipeline and then enter a name. So I'm going to use this name and click on okay. That will ask you for a description. So enter in description, suitable description, and then uh, directly go to the pipeline section, right? Previously we used the pipeline script, but not this time we are going to use the pipeline script from SCM. So it's going to ask you for a, a SCM option. Uh, we are going to select get, and I need the repository URL. So I have the simple uh, Node.js React uh, application code, which is there on my GitHub. So I'm going to uh, take this URL and put it in my pipeline. And that's all the changes which are required for this pipeline job. Just go ahead and save it. So our pipeline job is created, right? Now this is our repository. Uh, you need to clone this repository into your local, right? Because we are, we need to make some changes into the Jenkins file and need to push into this repository and then build our pipeline stage by stage, right? So let me use SSH and uh, I will go to my git bash and so uh, you can uh, simply clone this repository by using a simple git command, which is the git clone command, right? So I already did that. I'm already in my repository. Now, next, uh, you need to use any ID of your choice and take open that project, which you cloned from the GitHub, right? So here, uh, you need, we need to add a Jenkins file now. Now, if you open this project, uh, you will find that uh, there is a Jenkins file which is already present, but it's only for my reference. So don't get confused. Uh, the Jenkins file, which will act as the script um, pipeline script, will always be on the source repository, I mean, source folder, right? So it won't be under any other folder, it will be directly under the root folder. So go ahead there, click on new, I mean, create a new file and type Jenkins file. So it's the same syntax, otherwise it won't work. Now, add it to Git, and this is our Jenkins file. So, and these are the stages which we need to build in our pipeline, right? I'm going to explain each stage by showing you, by running each and every by running three different builds on Jenkins. So let's go ahead and copy this, but we'll remove some of the stages because we'll be adding it one by one. So now I want to just run the build stage. So I'll remove this deliver stage, right? These two stages. We also don't want this, we'll add it later, environment. So this is um, what we'll be doing in our first build. We'll be using a Docker agent. As I said, we'll be uh, downloading this image, which is the Node.js image. And this will build a container for Node.js. It will start running it. And then um, it will expose 
that uh, node.js container into this local host server. So you can go there and uh, look, look at your website, which will be built using the node.js application. So coming to stages in stage uh, build, in build stage, we will simply uh, be installing all the dependencies using NPM, right? So that's it. So let's go ahead and now add, we have already added it, so we'll just commit it. So Jenkins file. And then I'll push it to my repository. So that's done. And let's go back to our Jenkins. So we are going to use the Blue Ocean interface, right, for this video. And I'm going to run my job here. So this is my pipeline job. And click on Run. And you can also open the logs, right, so that we know what is going on here. Now it is going to take some time. So I'll just pause the video before it completes. So our first build is complete in our pipeline, right? This is our pipeline, as you can see, the start, build, and, and there's only one stage right now. Now, these are the logs. Um, it is not showing, but internally, it already con created a Docker container, and it is running on the background for Node.js, right? So it checked out from the version control, and it ran the NPM install to get all the dependencies for our project. Right. So that's all for the uh, build stage. Now let's go back to our project and we are going to add the next stage to our Jenkins file, right? So our next stage is the test stage. And we also need to add the environment part to it. before the stages, right? So that's because we want to apply to each and every stage. Now, CI equals to true, which means it's running in a non-interactive mode. So that uh, in the test phase, it is going to expect some input from the user, but we don't want to do that. We want to run it in a um, seamless manner without any manual intervention, right? Now, it's recommended to keep your steps pretty simple. Uh, whenever you are, whatever you want to run or whatever your logic is should be inside your script file, which you're calling. So we are calling the test.sh, right? So if you go to Jenkins scripts, there are three scripts and uh, this is our test script. So we are just running npm test command here to run a simple test so that uh, it, checks whether our application is rendering satisfactory, right? So that's our test stage. Let's go ahead and again, commit and push this change, right? Okay, so it pushed it pushed all the changes. Now go back to Jenkins and again, you need to run this build, right? So it's going to start and I'm going to pause this video so that it completes the build phase. So now the you can see another stage has been added into your pipeline. After build, it is now the test stage and it has completed. So in, in the logs, it's nothing but it has it has run this test.sh, right? And the pass criteria is renders without crashing. So that's all in the test stage. And let's go back now at our last stage, which is the deliver stage. So it's again nothing, but we will be just running a shell script here, which is the deliver.sh script. And then um, there will be a user interaction and we'll be calling the kill.sh to kill the process, right? So let's add this stage here. 
So this is our deliver stage. And let's go ahead and push this stage again. So this is the deliver stage. And push the changes. Now, if you want to see what is in the delivered SH file, so it's nothing but we'll be building uh, our application using the NPM run build. And then we'll be starting the application. We'll be waiting for some time for user interaction. And then we'll be uh, closing the process, right? So that's there. Let's go back to the Jenkins. And you want to run a build again. So it has started running. I would again pause the video so that it completes the previous stages. So our pipeline has moved into the deliver stage. Uh, it already executed the deliver.sh, right? So here, if you scroll down, you will see this is our local host 300 where it is hosted. And you can go ahead and have a look at your application. So what we built, right? Yeah. And in the next step, you can see it is waiting for a user interaction, which is you can click proceed or about, right? So I'm going to click on proceed so that the build completes. And you can see now um, all our stages are complete. You can have a look at all the logs which are present for each stage, build, test, and deliver. So this is our complete delivery pipeline. Right, where we built a Node.js application, we tested uh, using NPM, and then we started running that uh, application. So this is our continuous delivery pipeline uh, using Node.js and React application. Uh, we also use Docker containers to run uh, two containers, uh, both Jenkins and Node.js container. So Continue watching um, Jenkins videos where uh, I'm going to create more pipelines for different other applications.